Good morning. I wonder, can you remember which season we're in in the church's calendar? We are in the green growing season of ordinary time. The green growing season started right after Pentecost, the birthday of the church. And this summer, we've been studying the book of Acts in the New Testament. And Acts is the story of how the early church grew and grew through the power of the Holy Spirit. And through these stories, we've seen what it looks like to be faithful to Jesus and to grow in him. Like the Christians in the early church, we can share the good news of Jesus with our words and with our actions. We can form churches, communities where people of all nations and cultures and backgrounds come together to worship Jesus and to love one another. Today, we're going to see how the book of Acts ends. Let's make our hearts quiet and get ready to hear from God's good words. This is Paul. After meeting Jesus on the road to Damascus, Paul spent his whole life sharing the good news of Jesus, the gospel, with as many people as he could. Paul traveled for years, walking and sailing many miles to share about Jesus. The Holy Spirit led Paul back to Jerusalem, the place where Jesus was crucified and rose from the dead. Now, it was kind of strange that Paul went back to Jerusalem because he knew that there were people there who were very angry with him for sharing about Jesus and who wanted to kill him. But Paul listened to the Holy Spirit and he trusted God and he went back to Jerusalem. While in Jerusalem, Paul taught at the temple and people became very angry that he was sharing Jesus in the temple. They became so angry that they started a riot. They dragged Paul out of the temple and they beat him. And the government leaders of the city, they blamed Paul for the riot and they arrested him. But Paul was a Roman citizen so Paul had legal protection under the law, and he appealed his arrest and wanted a trial. So the government leaders decided to send him to Rome as a prisoner for his trial. So Paul set sail on a boat for Rome. But it was almost winter, and the seas were very rough. The weather was very bad. The ship encountered many storms. Everyone on the boat was scared. But an angel came to Paul and said, do not be afraid, Paul. You will travel to Rome and God will grant to you that all who are sailing with you will not be hurt. Paul had faith and he told the others, do not be afraid. The ship tried to get to an island for safety, but on the way, it crashed into a big reef. They were shipwrecked, and those that could swam ashore. Others who could not swim held onto pieces from the boat and floated to shore. And just like the angel said, no one was harmed in the shipwreck. They all got to land safely. On the island, some amazing things happened to Paul. Paul was bit by a snake, and everyone was waiting for the poison to kill him. But it didn't. And Paul was able to pray over people who were sick and heal them. Soon, people all over the island came and were healed, those who were sick and had diseases. And Paul was able to share with them the gospel. Finally, Paul was able to set sail to Rome again. 
he was still a prisoner. And they made it all the way to Rome. And while Paul was in Rome, the leaders decided to let him be a prisoner in his own home in Rome with a guard outside of it. You see, the leaders in Rome, they were curious about this message that they had heard that Paul was sharing, and they wanted to hear it. So instead of putting him him in prison, they let people come to his house, even though he was guarded, and listen to him share the good news. And Paul shared the gospel in Rome. Morning and night, people came to hear Paul share the good news of Jesus. Paul explained about God's kingdom. He explained the scriptures, the law, and the Old Testament, and the prophets, and showed how everything pointed to Jesus. Paul lived in Rome for two whole years, and he welcomed anyone who wanted to visit him, proclaiming the kingdom of God with boldness and without hindrance. And this is how the book of Acts, the story of the early church, ends. But the story of the church is not over. Even today, through the power of God's Holy Spirit, the church grows and grows. Let's wonder together. I wonder, do you think Paul was scared to go back to Jerusalem where he knew danger awaited him? Why do you think Paul went anyways? I wonder, how did Paul feel to be wrongly accused because people didn't like that he was sharing about Jesus? I wonder, how did Paul feel to be protected by God from so many things like the shipwreck and the snake bites but still he was a prisoner in Rome. I wonder, why did so many people in Rome come to hear Paul speak? I wonder what it feels like to proclaim the gospel boldly and without hindrance. I wonder, why is it that nothing can stop the gospel from spreading or the Holy Spirit from growing the church? Let's pray together. God, thank you for giving us the book of Acts and stories about the early church. Help us to proclaim the gospel of Jesus with boldness like Paul did. Give us faith to trust that your Holy Spirit is growing the church and our hearts in all circumstances. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.